My name is Tyler Gibson, and I will be interviewing Nick Duart. My name is Milo Cardell, and I will be working behind the camera. What brought you or your family to Nantucket? Um, I don't know exactly how it all started, but uh, my grandparents came over like to make a better better life for themselves, I guess, from uh, Cape Verdean Islands. So we ended up on Nantucket fishing, working, doing what we have to do, survive, you know. What part of the island were you from, and what does it mean to you? Um, I originally uh, grew up in the Five Corners, West York Lane area, and then um, we moved out to um, Surfside, Surfside area, Surfside Drive, actually, and um, I thought as a kid, like nine, ten years old, that we made it, we made it out of the hood and moved out to the, to the country, because it was all country back then, there was no dirt road ended. That was Surfside Road, was half dirt, half tar, and plenty of woods and stuff to play around in. Loved it out there. The summer was a blast. I could go fishing and surfing and, you know, ride our bikes all over the island and never see a car when I was on Popus Road or Surfside Road. Four or five cars would pass you and be begging for a ride when you got a flat tire. <laughs> How do you feel about the island changing? Um, good. Um, a lot of change for as far as people and the tourists that uh, used to leave in September, but now they stay, which is good. Um, I do like the summers. The change for um, the better, I think. You know, we got, you know, more hustle and bustle, more things to do. And as a kid, I was like, you know, trying to stay out of trouble by, you know, doing my other activities, fishing and hunting and, you know, hanging around, not trying to get too much trouble downtown. What was your favorite part about school when you were growing up? School? Hmm. I say just being around everybody, all your friends and hanging out playing around. That was a good time in school. I loved history, so I used to, that was my favorite subject. But yeah, hanging out, miss, I miss that time, you know, with the kids. You'll see when you get older, you'll miss that too. Uh, what kind of uh, kids did you hang out with in school? I, I hung out with um, a bunch of, I wouldn't say, I'd say, the cool kids, I guess. I don't know what they call them. We were we were all different. We I had um, you know long haired hippie type kid. I had a um, the police chief's kid. We I hung out with, and a couple other little buddies that we were, you know, regular old good old guy, electrician son, and plumber son. And, you know, we just had a good time. We uh, we started off. Uh, just palling around, we were like fifth, sixth grade, and then it, we just hung out from then on. It was a good group of kids, and they all still here. What was being in the military like for you, and has it affected you? Um, uh, it was a good, good experience. I got to travel everywhere. Um, I learned a lot. Learned, learned how to take care of yourself. Learned to grow up quick. Um, but they actually taught me what I do today. It's uh, construction. That's what I went in for. I went in to be uh, an engineer, and they taught me how to do all the equipment and how to, you know, read survey and read gauges and all that. So I, that was a good, good experience. College that's cheaper, <laughs> and I get paid. What it, do you do for a job now? Um, I work for the um, town of Nantucket DPW, um, construction, drains, sewers, you know, tarring, all that good stuff. Do you volunteer anywhere? Yeah, I like to volunteer at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, do a lot of time there, football, refereeing, coaching, basketball, helping out whenever I can over there, and 
I do a lot, I do a lot of work at the um, Legion, like volunteer work for uh, the Legion doing their stuff. But Thanksgiving, that's about it. You know? How is school different now than it was then here? Um, a lot more kids. <laughs> um, you got a lot of people, a lot of different, a lot of different races here now. And which when I was in school was either black or white, and that was it. But you know, we all still got along, so it must be a lot of fun to be hanging out with different people. You know, new groups, no more cliques. There's a lot of cliques when I was in school. You know, like you know, different people just hanging together. So. It'd be nice to go to somewhere we can meet different people. Is there something that you would like to tell me about you that I don't know already? Mm, yeah, I'd like to tell you that when we were in, I was in high school, I was in a high school band. It was called uh, Daffer and the Divots. And um, we were like on a new wave punk rock cutting edge. I think we were a little bit before our time. Uh, one of my band members, I don't know if you know him, he's, he's a big guy, Kenny Howard. He's a, um, he's a drummer, plays studios. He's, he still lives on island, but he was our, like, main focus because he was the only one that really had the real, real talent. But we played at um, prom parties. We played for uh, CPS dances. And we actually got paid, so that was a <laughs> good fun time. Well, that's it. Thank you for coming here today. That's it. All right. Thanks a lot.